Hello everyone, this is Akash here from blenderschool.cf and in this Blender tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this ocean sunset scene in Blender. Um, so we're gonna use Blender version 2.76b for this and as you can see it's a nice uh, silhouette effect with an island and an ocean, nice sunset environment and it's really easy to create and uh, we're gonna do a lot of compositing in this tutorial. So let's get started with this. So I'm going to open up a new scene in Blender. So this is a new scene. Let's start by deleting the cube by pressing X and then delete. So now let's start with the ocean itself. So for the ocean I'm going to use a plane. So to add in a plane press Shift A and Mesh and Plane. This is the plane which is going to be our ocean. I'm going to hide this tools panel by pressing T and I'm going to drag out this panel so we can view all the other tabs as well. Let's add in a modifier which will convert our plane into an ocean and the modifier is going to be an ocean modifier. So come to the modifiers tab and click on add modifier and ocean modifier. So this is our ocean uh, now. As you can see our plane is now a big old ocean now. So let's now increase this resolution so that we can see more waves. Um, so for my final scene I use 25 for this one. And we will use 25 also for this one, but for now I'm gonna keep it to be 20 otherwise it's gonna eat up my memory. I guess 20 is fine for now. I'll go for 15 for now, okay. Okay, that's fine. Um so this is our gonna uh, this is gonna be our ocean. Let's make it a bit more smaller by pressing S. Um let's just make it this much, and you can also do this by decreasing the spatial size a bit. It's fine. So okay, that's, that's nice now. So uh, now as you can see I have one plane and this is one part of the ocean. Um, for my final scene I didn't use only one plane. We are going to be adding more and more ocean parts just to make it look a bit more bigger. So to do that I'm going to duplicate this uh, plane by pressing shift D and then press X and move it over here. And let me just come in the front view so I can see. Okay it's not, okay it should be in the Y axis. So now press Ctrl Z to undo and then press G and then Y. Um, okay, I need to duplicate it again. So press Shift D and Y. It's gonna move it over here. Okay. Now for this one, increase this repeat X to be two, so that we have two uh, ocean parts like that. Come in the top view. I'm gonna just center this one a bit. Like such. It's fine. Now the resolution of this one is gonna be 25, and this one it's gonna be 20. So um, I'm going to keep it to be 10 for now and we'll increase it later. And then let's create the other ocean part by duplicating this one by pressing Shift D. Then Y for the Y axis. Just move it over here. And then uh, for this one repeat X to be 3. Again center this one. And uh, the resolution is going to be 15 I guess for this one and I'll use 5 for now. We increase it later on. It's going to bring these a bit more down. Easy like that. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so now our ocean is ready. So our camera is going to be placed over here. So the parts near the camera are going to have ocean with high resolution so more waves can be seen. And the parts which are away from the camera uh, are going to have some less ocean, uh, less resolution so it's not going to eat up much memory also. So that's fine now for us and now we can start positioning our camera itself. So when I come in the front view, an orthographic view using the view menu. I'm gonna position my camera by pressing Ctrl Alt Normal Pad 0 just to snap the camera into place and then just gonna lock the camera to view. Just gonna move it a bit. So that's fine, let's center it. GX is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm just gonna move it a bit more front so I can't see that. That's fine. Let's move it a bit more front. That's fine. You shouldn't see the uh, world around like that, which I can see a bit for now. I'm gonna actually change the resolution of the camera because uh, this resolution is not good for the scene. I guess 222880 should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna bring it a bit down, it should be fine, and um, should be good enough for us now. It's gonna move it a bit more front, but that's fine now. Okay, so now our ocean is ready and our camera is also probably positioned. We don't need this lamp, so I'm going to select it by right clicking on it. 
the next and delete. I'm going to change the recycles render engine and uh, let's set up the lighting now. So for the lighting I'm going to use uh, sky texture uh, in the world. Apart from that I'm going to also use an image texture, a uh, sunset image so that it uh, gives us that nice sunset uh, lighting. So let's use this sunset image and I'll, I'll leave a link in the description from where you can download this sunset image. So that's fine. Um, let's import that image into Blender. So for that I'm going to use an add-on called import images as planes. So I'm going to come and use it preferences, add-ons and I'm going to type in here images as planes. Yep, that's fine. Over here import images as planes. It's fine. We'll activate it. And let's import that image. So to do that, press shift A, mesh images as planes. Now just open that image. Now uh, you can download this image from my side. This is sunset.png image. Um, so we leave the materials for now and uh, click on import images as planes. And now I come in the materials tab, change the surface to be emission, which you could have done through the add on itself, but it's okay. And uh, let's scale it by pressing S and make it a bit big, like such. Rotate it by pressing R, then X, 90, and enter. I'm going to come into top view and then just press G and then Y, just move it over here. Come in the camera view and make sure the uh, the image of this plane is covering the entire camera because we don't want to see the uh, uh, the world around it. Now this one should be fine. Let's see how it looks in the rendered preview mode. Mm, okay, that's looking good. Okay, that's fine. Mm, that's fine. And now we can uh, set up the world. So come in the worlds panel. Uh, change the surface. Uh, I'll click on this use notes and then click on this small dot icon over here new color and change it to be sky texture so um, let's use sky texture it's fine and now if i come in the rendered preview mode if i come in the front view as you can see uh we need to be more perspective you just so as you can see it has you know generated a simple sky background for a scene and if you see there's a sun in this sky texture as you can see that bright spot over there that's this uh, that's the sun so if i just you know uh, i can control the sky texture by uh, rotating this sphere over here so I can you know just bring it like this because it's a sunset scene I'll just you know bring my sun near the horizon level and uh, about that much should be fine so as you can see nice yellow lighting is coming from the background that's fine for our for our scene now and um, let's decrease the strength to be 0.5 because I don't want it to be too strong and I can see a bit of world around over here so I can just you know bring this ocean a bit down Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. I hope that we cannot see that ocean, the world around the ocean and stuff. That's fine. So now let's add in the material for our ocean. So select any one of the plane or the ocean and click on new in the material tab. Now I'm going to change to be in the node editor this time right over here just so that we can work with the nodes. So we'll start with uh, with a glossy shader. So just delete this diffuse node, press shift A. And then shader, then glossy. Just place it here. Connect this to be this uh, input. And uh, for the roughness, I'll change it to be 0 0.05, so it's slightly rough. Let's see how it looks. And I'm gonna also apply this material to all the other ocean uh, uh, parts also. So I'm gonna select all the other ocean parts, and then again shift right click on this ocean which has the material. Press Control L, and then select material. There you go. Now I hope that should have the same material. It's fine. Let's come in the camera view and let's see how it looks. And it's looking good as you can see nice reflections from the sky texture of the uh, background over there. You can see nice uh, blue tint on the uh, on the ocean. Now we're gonna also add in a glass shader. To do that, let's add in a uh, mix shader so that we can mix both of these shaders. So press Shift A, shader, and uh, let's use a mix shader. Place it over here. Let's add in a glass shader, so press shift A, shader, and glass. Let's place it over here, connect it to the bottom input, it's fine. And then change this IOR value or the index of refraction value to be 1.333. That's for water, I don't know what is it for, uh, ocean water. I guess it's fine for now because that's not going to affect too much for ocean and it's looking good now. So as I told you that we're going to use high resolution for this 
front plane so I'm gonna now increase it to be 25 just to show you how it looks like I'm also gonna enable board rendering so that it does not render the uh, other parts of my camera because I want to waste my memory as you can see it's looking good but uh, for an ocean the waves are much smaller and there should be much more waves so we need more resolution but uh, there's a trick you can do without increasing this resolution just to make it look more wavy so I'm going to use a noise texture in the material itself so that it looks as if uh, there are more waves on the surface of the ocean so to do that add in a noise texture node by pressing shift A and then texture select noise texture yep it's too laggy oh yeah now it's better so can I even remove this connection where I don't know why they're connected over there so let's connect this back and this thing is taking a lot of memory yep so once when you have done this when you have added this noise section node connect this FAC to be the displacement input and you can add in a math node now just to control the uh, the strength of the waves now I don't think you need to control this 0.5 is good and as you can see my resolution is 10 but I, I can see a, a whole lot of waves on the surface of the uh, ocean now and it's just some fake waves it's not looking that good you need to increase the resolution so it looks better so I'll do that at the end when we are you know gonna get ready for rendering the scene so once when you have you know now finished with the ocean now let's start with the island over there so for the island as you can see I have a nice um, simple island over here with some trees on it so for the island I'm going to use an, uh, use the ant landscape add-on just to generate a simple terrain and use particle system just to spread in some palm trees and um, that should be nice so let's do that so I'm going to uh, just make this more a bit more smaller and let's activate the ant landscape add-on so user preferences and landscape okay that's fine i'm gonna open up the tools panel just because all the settings come over here itself and uh, let's add in a landscape so press shift a mesh landscape so as you can see it has created a small landscape for us over here and now let's change a few settings i'm gonna use the type to be hybrid and fractal because it gives us a much more smooth in terrain and random see like this i used one and i guess one is fine for the scene as well we'll use one and let's scale it by pressing S now, make it big enough, it's fine. And I don't know, for me, the normals of this uh, of this uh, terrain or the mesh is like reverse, it's not facing the right way. So we need to reverse it, so I'm going to come in the edit mode, press A, so that we select all the other vertices, and press W, and then select flip normals, now it's facing the proper way. It's important that you flip the normals now in case uh, if they are not facing in the correct direction because later on when we added the particles uh, they will not face the proper way it's gonna you know all face inside the terrain it's not gonna look good so let's just position it by pressing G and then X for X axis G and Y just to move it away from the camera I'm gonna rotate it RZ so it's like that fine G and then X a bit in the side that should be fine enough that's good now a few uh, we need to edit uh, the terrain a bit so I'm gonna come in the edit mode make sure proportional editing is on you can enable it by pressing O it's gonna select this vertex GZ and I just move this not this one this one GZ let's move this a bit down so it's a bit flatter over here and select this one and move it a bit up because I want it to be that low Okay, that should be fine enough for us now. Okay, let's make it a bit more slope here over here. Let's increase this a bit. That's fine now. Okay, let's uh, just edit this one as well. But... Okay, that's fine. And now we have our terrain ready. Now let's add in the particles. So for the tree, I'm not going to show you how to model the tree. It's a palm tree. If you want, you can download this from my website. I'll give you, a, a, I'll provide you with a link in the description from where you can download it. So let's import that tree. So come in file, append, and then once you have downloaded this palm tree Dublin file, click on it. Um, then click on object, then this trunk. Just click on that and append from library. So this is the uh, the palm tree now, which you are going to use as a particle. 
so I'm just gonna you know, change this view to be bounds so it's just a cube and it's it doesn't eat up much memory when you use it as a particle so come back to your terrain add in a new particle system change type to be hair check advanced emit from to be words random is fine and I'm gonna change the object to be trunk okay and as you can see there are a whole lot of trees now we don't want that many I guess 50 was the I guess 50 is fine for this kind of scene because we don't want to focus much on the uh, on the trees so it's it's okay 50 should be fine and we are gonna come in the weight painting mode just to paint out the areas where we want the trees to be so I want the trees to be around over here such I should be fine I don't want it over there but it's okay it's fine and then I'm gonna come over here the vertex grips and change the density to be this group and that's fine let's see how it's uh, how it looks in the rendered preview mode see that's good there are a few problems we need to uh, enable some randomization in the size as well because all of them are just of the same size and just increase randomize size such I increase this normal size as well it's too much I guess 0 0.6 should be 0 0.06 should be fine a random size that's good enough and then check rotation and change this to be global Z and then increases not this one uh, I guess this one random value well um, there are two random values over here I don't know what <laughs> one of them does let's try normal as normal is fine change to be normal and I guess point one should be fine and there are still too many trees I guess let's decrease the count to be 25 now let's see well that's two less <laughs> let's use 30 uh, no, I'm not gonna do let's use 50 so that's fine I'll need to do 40 now no I guess 50 is fine let's use 50 itself because we want some trees over there it's looking good it's not too shabby and uh, let's add in a material just to uh, make it look a bit dark so I'm gonna create a new material for this one just change the diffuse color to be slightly grayish like such and then I'm just gonna name this material gray so I don't have any other name in mind now uh, let's give this tree in the second layer as well this material gray that's fine so it should appear a bit more darker there, there you go that's looking much better and that's pretty much it with that island over there that's pretty good now as you can see I have added a bit of depth of field and this branch over here one more tree over here just for some depth of field and stuff so you can do that it's actually an image um, because I don't feel like adding in one more model uh, so I guess image is fine for that so let's uh, add in that so you can download this image from my website too I'll provide you with a link to this so let's add in that image so press shift A uh, mesh images as planes this one is trees 4.png um, uh, okay for the materials let's use diffuse and transparent it's fine and uh, check use alpha over here it's fine now let's import it it's over here scale it it's fine now rotate it by pressing R and then X the 90 and enter so G Y is bring it closer to the camera such let's see let's see how it looks in the render preview mode because um, well, I can't see anything of this yeah it's over here okay that's fine over there let's bring it a bit more down yeah that's fine it's looking pretty soft over there nice few branches that's looking good and you can add you can duplicate this and you can use it for some more branches you can just rotate it for some randomization and that's looking good now um, I'm gonna hide this uh, plane over here this tree tree is four plane over here because uh, because of this plane I cannot see my scene properly so I'm just gonna click on this eye icon just to hide it but but, uh, but it's still there in the scene but it's still there in the scene and uh, when we render it it's gonna come in the render so that's okay now let's uh, increase the resolution of all the ocean and stuff but before that I'm gonna save my project so control s let's just save it really quickly okay there you go now it's saved 
now let's get started with the rendering so i'm going to come in the camera view now and uh, and yeah let's increase the ocean resolution first uh, select this ocean change to be 25 and uh, that's fine and then select this one the second ocean layer and then change the resolution to be 20 and then the last or the third ocean layer which is the bounce from the camera i guess that one should be 15 nope oh my goodness i oh no now it's gonna yeah it's not gonna crash what did i do I, why did I... okay i'm back now and yeah then it did crash and um, that wasn't good enough and it's gonna have saved my project um let's get started so again let me increase this one the first ocean part to be 25 um yeah and then the second one to be 20 and the third one this time not 550 it's gonna be 50. it's okay it's good enough good amount of geometry um yeah that's pretty much it with the scene now let's again save it Control s save and yeah with the rendering nothing much with the rendering you can you know, use a few samples that are about 200 that should be fine let's use 200 i don't remember how much i use my final scene let's come in the rendered preview mode and let's just see how it looks before we even render it okay yeah and um, yeah that's looking good and and as you can see we have a whole lot of oceans as well on the surface because of, of that noise texture and stuff that's so good and uh, you cannot see the uh, this uh, the uh, image tree which we added over here near the camera because it's hidden but it's gonna come in the render and yeah let's add in some depth of field as well which i just forgot yeah, let's just add some depth of field really quick um so i'm just gonna you know, come in the top view and yep it's too large for me now that's okay limits check limits and then increase this distance let's increase this distance just to bring it uh, about here that should be fine we don't want to focus too much over that just to be f stop and i guess 4.6 should be fine let's try 4.6 let's see how it looks now maybe save it and yeah, now let's give it a render so the rendering has started and uh, once it's rendered we'll come back to blender and let's uh, and we'll go to the compositor to make look to make it look more awesome using the photo editing nodes pack and some of the blender nodes itself so I'll meet you after it's completed uh, so the rendering has finished and um, this is the uh, render result it's looking pretty cool uh, pretty cool and as you can see the because of the depth of field you can see this part of the ocean is much more in focus while those parts of the island is a bit out of focus and that's actually looking good now so that's good let's start by importing in uh, photo editing nodes so i can head into the compositor to start compositing i'm going to go to file and append photo editing nodes dot blend node tree let's open all no. okay let's go to the node editor change to be render layers check use nodes i close this now okay so now we have got the basic node set up and let's check backdrop so that we can see what we're doing Control shift and left click on the render layer node so that we can get in our view and node it's gonna place it over here and for now i'm just gonna break the connection between the render layer and comp composite node because we don't want to you know uh, do much with the composite we just want to you know compose our scene uh, visually by using this viewer node so just keep it connected to the viewer node for now so let's start uh, with some glow for the sun and some lens flare and stuff though it's an image but it's good that we add some so for that first we're gonna mask out uh, the parts where we want the lens flare so it's better to use a max node in this kind of case so let's use a max node so press shift a converter map let's place it over here and change this add to be greater than and now increase this value so it mainly focuses on the sun this point eight is fine and there you go now let's add in a glare node so press shift a filter and then glare not in paint so filter glare that's fine glare node and then i'm going to change to be ghosts ghost and um threshold to be point nine should be fine 
let's see yeah it's looking much better now and then let's use mix to be one so that we don't uh, see much of that bright spot over there we just want this uh, this lens flare and uh, that's looking much better now and um, iterations I guess two is fine yeah we don't want much uh, spreading and the color module of let's try 0 0.4 yes that's fine we get more color yeah that's fine okay and now let's add in an RGB curves node so that we can increase the brightness of these so by shift a color RGB curves let's over here let's increase the subtle sash yes and increase yeah that's better now now let's uh, add in some uh, glow to the sun so we are going to use a blur node for that so again we are going to add in a blur node so press shift a filter blur and we are going to use this greater than node again as the mask so i'm going to connect this value to be this image again let's see how it looks let's use fast gaussian then x i can check relative then x and then two and then two that should be fine Let's use a multi, uh, mix node to add in some color to this uh, this glow. So shift A, color, mix, place it over here. Change mix to be multiply. Let's give it a subtle orange color. Should be fine enough. Yeah, that's nice. Now let's uh, mix in uh, the, the lens flare and the uh, blur. So press shift A, color, mix node again. Connect this image to be the top input this image should be the bottom input and change the type to be screen let's see how it looks yep um, yeah that's looking good enough and now let's uh, mix this to uh, with the final I mean with the render result now so I'm gonna duplicate this node shift D let's place it here I'm connect this image to be the top input so that we can now control how much glow and lens flare and stuff we want and increase this now. That's pretty subtle effect. That's not much. So it's, it's pretty nice now. Um, let's see how this thing is. Looking. I don't want much of that glow, so I'm just gonna change to be in the top. Actually, the bottom input, the glow, it just decreases. It. Okay, I don't want much of that. It's fine enough. That's doing good now. So that's uh, with the lens blur and the glow. Now let's go with the uh, lens distortion a bit. So I'm going to add in a lens distortion. So press Shift A, um, distort lens distortion. So over here, let's use a distort value of 0 0.01. Let's try 0 0.01. We don't want much distortion. Uh, that should be pretty much fine. Not much distortion. Um, and then let's check in fit as well. And so it's not you know giving the black background over there. It's fine now let's use some photo editing nodes which comes with the photo editing nodes pack so press shift a group and as you can see all these new nodes which come with the pack first add on a temperature node to make the scene a bit more warmer so i don't want any coolness zero coolness and um, let's increase the warmth to be five, uh, 0.5 0.51 let's try 0.52 itself very very subtle and it's looking good now it's looking much more warmer that's that's what we want you know it's a nice sunset scene so it, it should be a bit reddish in warmth okay now let's use a focus node so though we have added a depth of field it's good to add some focus as well so shift a grip focus let's place it here and uh, for the size we'll try 1.8 because it's a nice wide screen i guess uh, has a good resolution so we want some focus at the edges itself we'll try 1.8 and the blur to be 3 i'm just gonna zoom out by pressing v yeah you can see the focus and some blurring around over here it's looking good enough and let's just decrease the opacity to be 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.63 should be fine okay not much, you know, big, uh, some subtle focus over there. That's okay. Now let's add in a vignette node finally to complete it. So press Shift A, Group Vignette. Let's place it here. And uh, for the size, I guess it's fine. Opacity. We can play with the opacity value. Um, okay, it's looking pretty cool. Yeah, as you can see, it has darkened the edges a bit. I guess the opacity is too much, so let's use 0.6. 
Uh, let's use 0 0.65. Should be good enough for us. And that should be pretty much it with the compositing. Let's just see how it looks like. Yeah, it's nice. You know, you know, the dark edges, so you can only focus on this uh, ocean and that island a bit. That's looking good now. And that's pretty much it with the composite room. Let's now bring back our composite node over here. Let's connect this ring here to be the final composite input. So there you go, that's the post processing of this render. And uh, this was the render result as you can see what you got. And after going to the compositor, as you can see, we have converted this to be this now. That's looking good now, and uh, because of the temperature node, as you can see, we have much more uh, nice environment, like a sunset environment. That's looking good now. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. It was good fun making this tutorial, and I hope you all found this video useful. And um, yeah, it's pretty similar to my final result, as you can see, I guess the waves are a bit too small in this one. You can you know, change that with the scale value of the modifier. And that's pretty much it with the tutorial. If you all find it useful and thanks for watching and do subscribe and leave a comment.